Okay guys, so now we're going to take a look at what's under commerce and analytics. So if we go into commerce first, there's only three options. They're pretty straightforward as well. So anything to do with orders and any kind of purchases on your website will show up here. So orders, pretty straightforward. It'll have a list of all your orders, like who made the order, what IP address they use, what day it was made on, what item, how much it cost, etc. You can export all that to a comma, comma separated value sheet. So you can import it to a different software if we have one. And then we have inventory. So that shows you how much product you have. Uh, I just put in a temporary product just to show you what it looks like. And then if we go back, we have discounts. So here you can create coupons and provide discounts to anybody that wants to make a purchase on your website. So if we click on add discount, we have four different options. So any order. So it's pretty much a flat rate discount. Um, or we can have percent discount, so like 10% off of the total purchase or free shipping. And then there's also orders at least. So that's the same thing as any order, except there has to be a minimum purchase. So anything over $100 can have $5 off or 10% off or free shipping. And then there's products by category. So let's say you sell t-shirts and pants. You can offer a discount only for t-shirts, but not for pants. And then single product. So if specific product you pick a product and that can have a discount okay so now that we've looked at that let's go back and we'll look at analytics so here we have a couple of different options the first one's traffic overview so if we click that it shows you pretty much all the visitors to your website so we had one visitor that person looked at seven pages so that was probably just me and that was on november 6th so we can look at it hourly weekly monthly and then we have mobile usage. So this shows only people who visited on their smartphones. So here, nobody's visited our website on, our smart, on a smartphone ever. And then we have RSS subscribers. So this pretty much shows who's subscribed to your blog. Next, we have popular content. So that shows you all of your pages and which one has the most page views. So you can see what's popular, what's working, and what's not. Then we have search engine queries. This is pretty fascinating. It shows you what people exactly searched in a search engine in order to land on your page. So what they typed into Google or Yahoo. And then we have site search, search query. So this is what they searched on your website. So right now I don't really have a search button on my website, so they're not searching anything. But if you did have a search button up here or on the side, then it would show like what people are searching in here. And then we have activity log. So this shows who visited from where and what page they visited and on what date. And then finally we have sales overview. So that pretty much shows what you sell, how many units you sold and when you sold it. So as you can see, the commerce and analytics portion of the website is pretty straightforward, kind of just provides you with kind of feedback on how your website's doing. And then finally we have the settings and I'll take care of that in the next lecture.